I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Jesus, it smells like burning chemicals. Oh, shit. Ah! <gasps> Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty. Jesus, no. Okay, first things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Ugh. Where do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. I wish you could see the night sky. Arthur and I used to sneak out to look at the stars. If you lie on your back and look up at the stars, there's a moment when you feel like you're falling backwards, like you could sink into the earth. I grab Arthur's hand, and I knew he wouldn't let me fall. Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They not... At home. Let me take you to the station. For a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. A cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying.
than undermining the other girl's confidence. Beaker, a thermostat, N7 triode. I think I can fix my lab. Russians. I'm honest to tell you. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. Good gal for eating. Feed you. Don't look at me with those big eyes. No, oh, no one has ever fed you ever, have they? Me, me, mummy. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. 
What's that I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you've sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful in there. If he knows I'm there, it will get nasty fast. Get out! Police! A bit of a This must be the bag Harry wanted.
Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratholm via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! <sighs> nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. Sorry, moustache. Lovely day for it. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Damn it! Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. You need a change again. Sometimes when I'm outside, I think I hear you crying when it's just the wind. Then I realize I don't hear you and that's worse. As long as you're crying, I know you're alive. I suppose it's a strange thing for a mother to want her baby to cry. <sighs> but you don't need to do it at this exact moment, darling. Shh.
I've got my eye on you. We must catch up sometime. Oh, my nose needs a bath. anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Lovely weather. expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Testing Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District September 12, 1964. Tests negative for plague. Think we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. Stop, Dr. Verloc! Johnny King Mill 
after I killed fucking Test Chip and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! What's this keycard doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets.
I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. As easy as unhooking a bra. Now I can come back whenever I like. Well, that's enough of being here. I don't actually like long walks. I could use a bit of money, and I bet Stuart wouldn't mind I've having a few Sally. Sally specials oh, to sell. You never come by anymore. The top shell, well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. <laughs> 